So uh, Dominic Mysterio, Dragon Lee. This was an excellent match. And Dragon it, Lee's it, fantastic. It is. And it, you know what? It was not all Dragon Lee. Dom was really good in this match. I mean, yeah. they both look good. And Dragon Lee did some awesome stuff. They got This Is Awesome chance, tons of near falls, back and forth, fought up top. Lee hit his draping double foot stomp. Finally, he goes running, but he gets crotched on the top rope. Dom comes off, frog splash, pins him clean. Dom crotched him, and it's like, that should be a DQ too. Well, I think the thing was like he, he well, dude, everyone gets crotched on the top rope. But yeah. the difference was Dragon Lee sold it as a massive crotch. Anytime you split the legs, you're crotching the guy. People yeah. always split the legs on the top. But, but I mean, uh, shouldn't that be, that, that should be like illegal as hell. Well, it's like, uh, kind of. I mean, you know, you just be. split the guy's legs. I mean, like if a guy if a guy is standing on the top ropes and he slips and he falls, that's one thing. But when you pick a guy up and you crotch him, that's crotching him. That should be like a low blow. Yeah, well, they uh, let it go here. Well, they always do, but, you yes. know, it's, it's like such... I mean, it's like they used to not... I mean, I just remember because, like, again, when I used to watch as a kid, that was like a heinous act that was an immediate DQ. You know, I mean, considered like, you know, they would sell that one really big because, you know, everyone can relate to the idea of the low blow deal. So, um, but whatever. I thought that Dragon Lee, you know, did so well that uh, it may be time for him to like uh, get out of this NXT thing because the crowd, the other thing is, is the crowd was totally into him. They were totally the whole match. They they, they were, were going very crazy into, for this match. But they were in, I mean... It wasn't just Dom. They were into Dragon League. Well, sure. They were into his comeback. They were into his big moves. They were popping for everything. I mean, yeah. yeah. And they and and um, they did, you know, kind of bring up the idea. You know, Wade Barrett was like, we need to see more of him. I think that, uh, I think he, he may have, uh, you know, if they were listening and watching, I think that, that Dragon Lee may have earned himself a, uh, a spot on the main roster. I think if, I think he should have earned himself a spot on the main roster. The only negative is, is that, you know, because is, is, is if they do bring him up and they got no ideas for him. Well, there's an easy idea for him. What, Santos is going to turn on Ray, and Ray can have a backup, which is going to be Dragon Lee. That's a good one. Dragon Lee and Ray Mysterio versus Santos and and who? Well, I guess whoever. I guess the whole LWO can split. Can have. Uh, yeah. You know, Kevin and Sammy did a promo talking about the uh, main event tonight. And they said they did not do what they did earlier to help out Jey Uso. All they cared about tonight was winning these tag team titles. We had a Nia Jax promo. She's getting what chance? Out comes Zoe Star. She goes, you attacked me from behind. I want to see what you do to me face to face. So they get in a brawl. Referees hit the ring to break it up. Leads to Nia versus Zoe. This was not one of the best matches I was talking about. Just a no. short match. Nia sits on her, pins her. And that was that. Yeah. We had a uh, Jey Uso promo where he said if Judgment Day tried anything tonight, he was going to be there for Sammy. Then we had uh, Miz TV with Drew McIntyre. And this was actually a great promo segment back and forth because, you know, he keeps he's 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 strongly pushing that uh, Drew was upstaged by Cody last week. So if you're wondering what Cody's going to be doing between now and Survivor Series or whatever, looks like it's probably going to be Drew McIntyre. Did you know over the weekend, you know what they did with Cody? What they do? They started a few. Oh, Moss. Oh, Moss. Yeah. yeah. Well, you need some yeah. for the house shows. Oh man. I, well. Oh man. That's 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 a challenge. But yeah, I mean, Cody and Drew makes all the sense in the world. Sure. The um, I just thought this was interesting because the nature of the deal, the deal that they're doing is that this was to set up. You know, Cody. I mean, um, Drew Mac, Russ, McIntyre wrestled, um, Kofi Kingston. And so they have their match, and then the Viking Raiders destroy the New Day, and they're getting mad. Okay, now, the New Day, all they do is insult Drew McIntyre. They insult him in the promo, you know, they're running him down. So then when the Viking Raiders are beating him up, Drew doesn't help, and they're going like, you know, he's not helping them. And it's like, why would he want to help these guys? Because it's the right thing to do? How's it the right thing to do when they're the ones who... who were insulting him. Well, so uh, New Day comes out in the middle of this uh, this deal, and uh, and they go back and forth with Drew, and it's a great back and forth. 
And Miz keeps trying to get a word in, and Drew keeps telling him to shut up. Well, the deal is, is that Miz is trying to make it like like Drew's a heel with him, and Drew's deal is, is that he's not a heel because he hates Miz, but it's like he's got no reason to trust Jey Uso because Jey Uso cost him the title at Clash at the Castle. Yes, he is a heel. He is turning heel. He's turning. But heel. he believes everything that he's saying. Like, but he's why not. Why are like you a- idiots trusting Jey Uso? I mean, he. He screwed you. He screwed all of us. I mean, he cost all of his titles. And meanwhile, the New Day are like, yeah, he did. But he split from them, and he's trying to turn over a new leaf, and you should trust the guy or give him a chance. And Drew does not want to give him a chance. And so uh, finally, this leads to uh, him headbutting Miz, and then he tells Kofi to get into the ring, and he's going to show him what these hard times are all about. So uh, that leads to Drew versus Kofi. And uh, this was a good match, had good heat, and uh, near the end, he hits the Alabama slam on the apron, this being Drew, throws him in the ring, goes for the Claymore, Kofi avoids it, hits the SOS, Ivar then runs down, he uh, destroys Xavier at ringside, Kofi's distracted, he gets killed with the Claymore, he's pinned, so then Ivar hits the ring and he's killing Kofi, and Drew walks up the ramp, looks back, keeps walking, bails on him. And they get destroyed by Ivar, who goes up and hits the big moonsault off the top onto Kofi. And uh, Ivar's claim is they put Eric out of action, and so it's an eye for an eye. We have a segment with Gunther. So Kaiser throws Giovanni under the bus for the finish earlier. And Gunther says, well, since you know about all this guy's mistakes, well, he's your responsibility now. So that means if you screw up, Ludwig, we got a problem. And if this guy screws up, We also have a problem. So I'm going to go take my own problems myself, starting with Tommaso Ciampa. And Ludwig is not happy having to uh, take care of Giovanni. So then the main event was Kevin and Sammy versus Finn and Priest for the Undisputed Tag Team titles. And yeah, man, this match was great. Great heat, great action. Last few minutes are awesome. And uh, finally, yes, Dom tries to interfere. Uh, leads to another near fall. Jay Uso comes down and take care of Dom. He gets jumped by JD. Cody runs down. He goes after JD. Hits him with a toe pay. Sends him over the announce table. Bunch of geeks are running down there to break it up. In the ring, Kevin hits Finn with the stunner. Priest throws Kevin outside, but then Sammy hits the kick in the corner. McDonough then hits Sammy with a belt behind the referee's back. Priest covers him, and Priest gets the pin. And then afterwards, we had... Cody and Sammy and Kevin, McDonough, Judgment Day. Everybody's out there. Huge eight-man brawl. There's dudes trying to pull them apart. It's all this violence. So, uh, yeah, probably uh, seems like war games. Mm-hmm. But I guess we'll uh, we'll find out. But a lot of good action on the show, I thought, top to bottom. So Ricky Starks comes out for a promo. God, this was the weirdest segment I have seen in I Don't even know how long ricky starks last week cheated to win the owen hart cup so this man comes out and he is cheered he talked about how much money he had his expensive shoes his expensive bag Mm -hmm. he's rich you see so to review if you cut a promo saying that you have expensive things like oh i don't know a tesla or a watch and you only eat the finest steaks in the finest steakhouses people might not like you i have no idea getting? what you're talking about hey guys did you love this clip if so you should join our channel just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do wrestling observer live wrestling observer radio the brian and Vinny show all of them in full hd full length plus archives of all of your favorite shows click join today and don't miss out